In this podcast episode, professional surfer Kai Lenny discusses his experiences riding big waves and how he manages fear in order to push the boundaries of the sport. He sees fear as a superpower and uses it to fuel his performance in the water. Lenny describes the intense fear and sensory overload that comes with wiping out on a giant wave. He explains that the fear primarily comes from within one's own brain, as the mind questions how deep one is and whether they will come up before the next wave hits. He advises going limp when wiping out instead of clawing and scratching to the surface, as this can be counterproductive. When riding the wave itself, Lenny explains that the speeds are incredibly fast, reaching up to 55 to 60 miles per hour. He compares the experience to hitting speed bumps at twice the speed and twice the steepness. Lenny has trained himself to go completely limp when falling, which allows him to be more flexible and avoid injury. He also highlights his awareness of his surroundings in the water, enabling him to sense rogue jet skis or anticipate the position of his board underwater. Lenny expresses his desire to push the boundaries of big wave surfing and elevate the sport to new levels. He believes that there is immense potential for performance gains in riding big waves and sees it as the ultimate canvas for showcasing his skills. He seeks to incorporate maneuvers and aerials typically reserved for smaller waves and believes that fear can be harnessed to achieve incredible feats. The conversation then shifts to the relationship between space and time in big wave surfing. Lenny explains that riding a big wave affords more time and decision-making opportunities compared to smaller waves. He describes the feeling of time slowing down and the ability to make more calculated choices while riding a big wave. Lenny also mentions that riding small waves has helped him develop the ability to react quickly and go with the flow, which is essential in big wave surfing. Lenny discusses how he manages and processes fear. He and his friends cope with fear through nervous laughter, using humor to trick their minds into thinking the situation is less daunting. He also mentions the importance of ego in overcoming fear but emphasizes the need to balance it with self-preservation and understanding one's limits. He believes that fear can be a superpower when channeled correctly, allowing individuals to push themselves beyond what they thought possible. Lenny reflects on how becoming a father to one-year-old twins has impacted his approach to fear and his overall training regimen. He sees it as an opportunity to set an example for his children and demonstrate strength, perseverance, and dedication. Lenny trains harder and smarter, focusing on being physically strong and protecting his joints. He also emphasizes the importance of mental training, such as reading and learning new languages, to improve overall performance. In terms of training, Lenny works out in the gym five days a week, focusing on endurance, explosivity, and stability. He also incorporates activities like stand-up paddling, road biking, and mountain biking to improve his overall fitness and performance. Lenny mentions the importance of breath-holding exercises and CO2 tables to train his lungs and improve his ability to stay calm underwater. He also highlights the benefits of ice baths for recovery and sleep. The podcast continues with Lenny reflecting on the Surf Ranch event where he first met the host. He shares his experience of being in a heat with someone who was not as experienced in surfing big waves and the pressure he felt to ensure the other person's safety. Lenny emphasizes the importance of being aware of one's surroundings and making calculated decisions in the water. Lenny emphasizes the importance of competition in pushing him to innovate and progress. He sees competitions as a way to quantify his training and push himself to new levels. He believes that the pressure and time limits of competitions push him mentally and allow him to evolve quickly. He also values the feedback and learning opportunities that come from losing competitions. He discusses the balance between external validation and internal motivation. While winning competitions is important, he focuses more on doing his best and pushing himself to perform at his highest level. He believes that if he performs at his best, he should win regardless of what others are doing. 
Lenny talks about the importance of being adaptable and finding balance in his life. He describes the contrast between the technical and artistic aspects of his sport and the need to be able to switch between them. He also discusses the challenges of balancing his personal life, including being a father and husband, with his professional career. He also touches on the entrepreneurial side of his career, including managing cameras and being his own production crew. He talks about the importance of compartmentalizing his different roles and being able to focus on the pureness of his sport when needed. Lenny expresses his belief that there are still untapped possibilities in surfing. He mentions the potential for finding bigger waves and exploring uncharted areas of the ocean. He sees the vastness of the ocean as a potential source of new challenges and opportunities. Overall, Lenny's mindset is one of constant growth and pushing boundaries. He is driven by a desire to innovate and progress in his sport, while also finding balance in his personal life. He sees challenges and failures as opportunities for learning and improvement.